The money's by the mirror. Thanks. You're welcome, Maria. I'd like to see you again next week. I might not be around. Um, give Sean at the agency a ring. I'll do that. You like breakfast before you go? No, thanks. I've got something on. Anything fun? That's personal. That's for me. Sorry, Mary, I didn't mean to buy it. Thanks for the cash. I think it's admirable you want to get your education back on track. I've seen plenty of kids fester in bad schools, or in good schools with a few bad apples. I think you'll be happy here. I hope so, miss. Your mother tells foster me... Foster mother. That's right, your foster mother. She tells me you've missed a few months of school? Yeah, not much, but enough. It's a shame. But we'll soon get you back on track. And we'll keep you out of trouble. It wasn't my fault, the trouble. Oh, that'll be Sarah. Come in. Sarah, this is Louise. Louise, Sarah. Sarah will help you to settle in. You'll find your feet soon enough. Thanks, miss. You'll be fine. Leave the past where it belongs. This is a fresh start. Make the most of it. So, where are you from? Who's your friend, Sarah? She's new. Well, yeah. There's a party at Rob's tonight, new girl. If you want to come along. I like a challenge. <laughs> That's John. He's kind of a prick. And they ain't talking about human grief, so don't get that. All right, Rabble, quiet down. OK, first things first, we've got a new arrival today. Can you put your hand up for us? Louise. When are you ready, Mr Rollins? <laughs> All right, Aaron, that's enough. Glad to have you with us, Louise. I'm sure everyone will make you feel welcome. Please feel free to see me after class if there's anything you need. Thanks, sir. Mr. Rawlings is fine. Now.
I'll catch you up. I'm just going to speak to Mr. Rollins. Is everything all right? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? What are you doing here? Getting an education. Christ, Marie, I don't know. Louise? How- What are we supposed to do now? I don't know how I got through that lesson. (laughs) God. You you look so young. I am young, Stephen. But that didn't seem to bother you this morning. Oh, come off it. A little bit of makeup. You never ask. You just assume. Fuck. There's no getting away from my life, is there? This is going to ruin everything. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Rowlings. No problem. Louise, how are we getting on? Fine, miss. Good. So, what's the verdict? Will she fit in? Uh, Yes, I think she'll be fine. Well, I just need a quick word before your next lesson, Stephen. Absolutely. Uh, Louise, will you need to see me another time? I know there's problems. Suppose they're better? Do you know in my offices you can come after school unless you've got to rush off? I can't now, but we'll get together. If that's all right with you, Mr. Rollins. Problems to iron out? Nothing serious, I hope. No, no, just a, a problem with a few questions. Nothing serious. See you in a minute. Hurry up, lads. I don't want to get a fucking ticket. Yeah, all right. Dude. Come on, we've got to be at once. No onions on mine.
You look tired. Yeah, I'm a bit late night. I'm not doing too much. Hey, Skip! What was that? So, how much you charge? It's just, I'm looking for a part-time job, and I'd probably get a bit better than the loose change you scraped together. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> Louise! What the fuck are you doing here, you come back? Look at me when I'm talking to you. You better fucking look at me. Give me one good reason why we shouldn't smash your face in right now. Fuck that, we'll get AIDS. <laughs> Leave her alone, Amy. Fuck you, Moncrief. Bitch. Hey, Louise. Not looking so glamorous as you did last night. I've got a question for you. How much for you to suck my cock right now? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm serious. How much for a quick fuck behind the science block? How much for a bare back? How much to get right in there? Making the new girl fill at home, Mr. Rollins. So I see. Another one of your educational high points, Amy. You're right, Louise. Don't worry about her, so she's a fucking skip. Shut the fuck so up. Settle, you get settle down. Now. Don't know about you, sir, but we don't need a fucking whore here. What are you talking about? Oh, don't you know, sir? We've got ourselves a fucking working girl. Shut the fuck up! Keep slagging me. Amy. Oh! Fuck off! Hit my sister's office now! Seriously? Fuck you! And you lot. And you too, John. And the rest of you, go and gawk at something else! They started it, Mr. Rollings. I've no doubt about it. You're right, Louise. Fuck off. Louise! Is it true? It is, isn't it? Why? It's a long story. You can tell me. When my mum went down, it was just me and my little brother. She never looked after us properly anyway, but at least no one put their noses in. <clears throat> Once she got on, the social split us up, and now he's living with a stranger. Who's looking after you? I live with a stranger too, but I look after myself. When I get enough money, and when I'm old enough, I'm going to look after me and James. Why don't I talk to my mum? You and James can come and live with us. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> it's a nice thought, but <laughs> I've only just met you. And I think your mum might have something to say about it. Plus, there's a hundred miles of red tape between me and James. It's just not that easy. Never is. What's it like? What's it like? You know. <laughs> what, the sex or just being paid for it? What do you have to do? Anything. Don't you feel bad? I learned to switch off a long time ago. My mum's boyfriend taught me that. Tanya, are you in here? No, she must be downstairs. I thought.
thought I was Amy. <laughs> it's a good thing Mr. Rollins broke that up. He's all right, isn't he? Mm. Did you hear about his wife? He's married. He was married. She left him a couple of years ago. The rumour was she took off with one of her pupils. She was a teacher as well. It's just a rumour though. I don't really know how much truth there is in it. Anyway, it broke him right up. He took loads of time off and then when he came back it was like a piece of him had gone with her. I don't know, I can't really put it into words, but that's what happened. But I do feel really sorry for him. He must be lonely. Must be. He is nice though, isn't he? The things these kids say, they can be cruel little shits when they want to be, man. Rare insight from the psychology teacher. Stephen. Stephen, you broke it up, didn't you? Yeah. So? Is there any truth to the rumour? Of course not, Phil. Grow up. Right. It's only joking, mate. Wouldn't surprise me, mate. See some of their Facebook pages and the way they dress in the summer. Christ. Makes me wish I was 20 years younger. And the rest? Yeah, cheers, mate. Hey, Steve. You're not trying to tell... Afternoon, all. Cheer up. Cheer up. Stephen? Louise. They should be expelled. It wasn't them. Who then? The other girls. Like a turf thing. A turf thing? On the street? Why? The agency isn't working out like it's supposed to. And how am I meant to look after James if I haven't got any money coming in? Who's James? Maybe I want to go to uni. Maybe I want to do a lot of things. You know, there are other ways to earn money. And there are other ways to spend money? Fuck. Like you're part of the solution rather than part of the problem, you self-righteous prick. You can't buy a girl from an agency and then put her on the street and suddenly there's no dignity in it and, and you become all high and mighty concerned. You can't fuck me one night and then get all protective the next. You can't do that. I don't know why I came here. <laughs> Like I thought you'd be able to do something about it. It's fucking Sarah putting ideas into my head. And school. There'll always be a John, always an Amy. And whenever there's a Maria, there's always John and Amy's. And Stevens. Do you know what? It's a fucking mess. I'm just gonna grab James and I'm gonna disappear. Look, that's not an option. I can't stand it anymore! I need to get out, right? And I'm not gonna get an education here, am I? I think I've already learned all I need to learn. Please, listen, let me help you. What? Another bunch of tenors in your pocket. No. We all take wrong turns, Louise. You can get back on track. It's not too late. Stay in school, please. Stand up to those Amys. You're so strong. Stronger than I'll ever be.
change what you need to change. Make the most of your future, not the least. There's got to be an answer to all of this. What is it? I don't know. Maybe I do. <laughs> Maria, don't. Why? You never wanted to before. I need you to need me. Louise, we can't. We can't. Not for the money. It's not that I don't want to. But look. Let's not make things any worse than they already are. So tell me, Stephen. How are we going to make it better? Break it in last night, did you? Scared. Did you get my text last night? I didn't hear back from you. Uh, yeah, I did. Sorry, thanks. Are you all right? All right, now settle down. I'll be covering Mr. Rowling's class today. So, let's get our bags away, our books open, and our minds ready. Yes, Sarah? Where's Mr. Rowling's, miss? As of this morning, Mr. Rowlings is on indefinite leave due to some family problems. It's come as a bit of a shock to us, but we'll muddle through. So, I'm afraid you're stuck with me until we find a more permanent replacement. I apologise for giving you more bad news. Right then. Uh, let's look at Michelson, Chapter 5. <clears throat> it's been a long time since I read this, so bear with me. Mr. Rowlings tells me you've been discussing the scene in the cemetery where Henry confronts Baron Transom. So, we'll look at the subtext as they talk about the castle. Right, so we'll go through the chapter in some detail. Mocks are coming up so it can't hurt. So, the first line. <clears throat> Baron Transom scorched the grave. It's related to an earlier chapter. 